Hi, welcome to Juice Bar. Today we're gonna compare egg white to aquafaba. So I'm just getting out of a really old school cold. So I thought to get back into the mood for cocktails, why not do a really simple comparison and it's not gonna be as much about the alcohol as about the foam, the white foam on top. We are gonna use a simple cocktail, it's gonna be color pink just to give a bit of uh, contrast with the foam and we're gonna compare the foam we get from an egg white, traditional, and aquafaba. Aquafaba is just the water that you will find in a can of chickpeas or garbanzo beans or as we call them in Italy, ceci. I just drain them and I put the liquid here in this uh, bottle. So I'm gonna use exactly the same recipe for uh, both uh, sours. They're gonna be rum sours and I'm gonna start by squeezing some juice. I'm just gonna squeeze some of the citrus I have there in the fridge and then I'm gonna mix them and then I'm gonna use the same mix for both cocktails. Here we have some lime. Then I'm gonna squeeze this third of a cabosu. This should be about enough, but I'm also gonna squeeze a bit of orange juice. and then we should be fine as far as juices go. So I'm gonna start with uh, 22.5 milliliters of this juice, which I'm gonna follow with one teaspoon of powder sugar. Then one teaspoon of this creme de from Roise by and yeah it's mostly to give a pink color to the cocktail a nice pink color then I'm gonna use a mix of rums I'm gonna use 30 milliliters of this uh, plantation free stars a standard cheap but good white rum and I'm gonna follow with this Planas from Diplomatico, I used it before. It's a really nice rum from Venezuela. It's actually six year old, I think, but it's filtered to be looking transparent. It's 47% and it's a completely different rum from our uh, plantation. So we get some different nuances. Okay, we have the sugar part, we have the alcohol part, we have the juice part. Let's start with the egg white. I'm gonna measure exactly how much egg white I get from this specific egg. Then I'm gonna use exactly the same amount of aquafaba so that we have a fair comparison. Let's see if I can separate. Okay, I got about 25 milliliters of egg white, which was what I was expecting. You know what, I didn't get as much color as I thought from the creme de framboise, so I'm gonna also add a bit of uh, cherry syrup from the Amarena Fabric Cherry Jar. Something like this. Yep, that should be. And now, finally, let's add the egg white to our shaker. Let's give a dry shake. You can see my episode of dry shake versus reverse dry shake. I prefer usually the dry shake. Okay, now we add 
some really nice foam going. Let's up the eyes. Let's shoot. Let's double strain our chilled coop. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna quickly make the exactly same cocktail, but with aquafaba. So that then we can compare them fairly. So let's put this on the side and let's get to work. So 22.5 milliliters of juice. One teaspoon of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of creme de framboise, one teaspoon of Amarena Fabri cherry syrup, 30 milliliters of plantation fristers, 30 milliliters of diplomatico. Plus 25 milliliters of aquafaba. Dry shake. Ice. Second shake. Strain. And there you go, a pink rum sour with aquafaba. Let's bring in our egg white. Aquafaba here on this side. Here some close up with the egg white. And this is the aquafaba. Okay, now I'm gonna compare them both for the amount of foam, consistency of foam, smell, and let's see where we land with our test. So first of all, I'm gonna smell them because sometimes the egg white can be quite off-putting. Cannot smell anything at this point with this egg at this temperature. Cannot smell anything here either. Gonna smell them again later because as the cocktail gets warmer, the smell becomes more prominent. Then, as for the foam here, I see some separation. Or, I mean, it's kind of like there is a in-between layer between the white form of the egg white and the rest of the color of the cocktail. It's like a bit of a in-between layer, which is missing from this version. Now, let's see how is the mouthfeel. Egg white. This is the classic. Feels really good. I like this. It's already tried in the New York sour cocktail and the pisco sour. This is a pretty good form. Let's go to aquafaba. I think it has a bit less of a mouthfeel. It also has the cream is uh, slightly thicker with a bit less foam here. From me, let's see. Maybe I can take a close up picture. Egg white, aquafaba. So, I would say a bit less mouth texture, again, no perceivable smell. I heard some people online saying either the, the egg white or the aquafaba was extremely smelly for them. So it really probably boils down to your personal sensors in your nose. 
Overall, perfectly fine, but the, um, the mouthfeel is better in the egg white. I wonder if the Aquafaba will benefit from the reverse dry shake, because the form that comes up is not as convincing as the one from the egg white from a traditional dry shake. I guess I could use uh, either one, depending on the situation and if I have eggs and or aquafaba. In uh, aquafaba advantages is that it's just easy to use. If you're having beans it's just free because it comes with a bean can. I think you can probably store it in the fridge for quite uh, some time. It's easier to use because you just put it like from uh, an egg white carton and uh, you don't have a problem of uh, leftover red of the egg. Also it's vegan, if that's your thing. On the other side, the egg white, I think sometimes it can be more smelly. Today no. Today it doesn't have any particular smell, but depending on the age of your egg, it can develop some smell, which can be off-putting unless you decorate the top of your cocktail with some bitters which is always suggestible. In this case, I purposefully left the beaters out because I wanted to smell. And uh, eggs, probably you have eggs in your house. So that's easy. A bit more uh, harder to separate the white from the red. Or you know, depending on your situation, you can go with uh, one or the other. I don't think there is a definitive winner in this context. I'm just happy to know that uh, you can use aquafaba without problem. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna wait for five minutes for the cocktail to get a bit warmer and then I'm gonna give it one more sniff. Five minutes later. By the way, let's smell these bad boys again. No smell, but... I wonder if that's also because I'm coming out of a cold. So there you go, even after some time it doesn't smell like anything. So if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment down below, shake yourself a drink, and I will see you next time. Cheers. I think the mouthfeel of the egg white more creamy. So a funny thing happened in the preparation for this cocktail. I made it once before with aquafaba, Actually, I think I got a slightly better uh, foam, but besides that, I posted a picture of it, which I'm gonna put here now, on Reddit. Also my Instagram, but on Reddit, it got the biggest upvotes ever in the history of my Reddit career, even though it's a brief career because I just subscribed a few months ago. But the reason it got so much upvotes, it's because people couldn't tell the cocktail was in the frame and so people were puzzled and wondering where is the drink? Is this just pretty flower and a pretty vase? So there goes to show that sometimes you put so much effort in what you do, you develop a recipe, you do research, you frame the best picture you can and all you get is like three likes and sometimes you put a kind of random picture of something and just because it's curious or funny you are gonna go viral, no, bit viral. I mean I'm glad it got lots of likes but on the other side it's like man what am I doing with my life? It's just everything so random.